So this time I got the NHD 15. This is the best of the best air coolers in the market. It has all kinds of features sprawled out on it, and it is the successor to the NHD 14, which was the previous king of the air cooling market. This thing rivals the Corsair H100i, so I've been told. So, yeah, I was really, really eager to get this thing. So it's got like six heat pipes, widens fin stack, high RAM capability, or compatibility, wow. Dual NF A15 140mm, which I also got two other ones to put in my case. PWM support with low noise adapters if you feel like it. Excellent component cooling because with the RAM compatibility, or yeah, yeah, compatibility. <laughs> it can cool your components, which is actually a nice feature. Um, uses the Second Firm 2 mounting system, which is their whole mounting system. And it has compatibility with past and future sockets. So if you really needed a socket they don't give you, then they can give you one if you just ask them. So now we're going to go ahead and get into this box. So we open it up right on top. There's the SecuFirm stuff with the accessories. I have an AMD system, so I'm going to be taking this Intel one and stashing it on a shelf. The AMD one is the one I'm going to be using. And the accessories. Go ahead and set the big box away. So for the accessories, first I have to open the box, and I'm trying not to rip it because it's a really nice cardboard. So for the accessories, looks like we got a couple fan clips, and I just threw that across the table. One other Y splitter, another noise adapter, another noise adapter. So this one has two noise adapters, and then we've got the screws or rubber grommets if you want a really this felt like in all the videos I watched this really looked dingy this is a serious screwdriver like is it like an allen wrench typed phillips head screwdriver and it's pretty solid I, I expected it to be a lot less less solid than it is so they got the knock to a case badge which looks awesome and then we've got the nth1 thermal paste uh, I heard that mixed things about their thermal paste so I'm just going to use it because it's Noctua, and everything Noctua has to be great, right? And then we're going to use the AMD mounting system. It doesn't sound like there's anything in here compared to the Intel one. The Intel one's heavy. I don't know if that's just because they use something different or what. Let's see here. This is their hold. Your customer, welcome to choosing the NHD15 and how you do it. And holy crap, there's not very many steps to mounting this one. That's for sure. Let's see, it uses the AMD stock backplate. Cool. I don't even have to change my backplate then. That's, oh wait, I might. I don't know. I have to look. Because I have the Corsair H80 right now, and if this thing beats the H100i, then there's no reason I'm not going to upgrade it. So let's see, you're applying too much thermal paste and mounting instructions and stuff like that. You can do, yeah, if, even tells you which way to put the cables, which is really nice for first time builders, so that's nice. So what actually comes in the AMD mounting kit is just four screws with some plastic caps and then the two pieces that attach on the motherboard. So really nothing to mounting the AMD system. I mean, the Intel one here, I'll even open it just so I can say I opened it. Let's see here. We've got two things in here. <laughs> what? Oh, there's an LGA 1150X and 2011 different system for each, apparently. And yep, there's the, there's looks like with the regular one and the X that's on the rest of Intel stuff. Um, I read about Intel stuff, that's about it. So yeah, it has two different backplates for Intel stuff, that's why it's heavier. But I don't have an Intel machine, so I don't need this. So we're going back on a shelf. So now I'm going to clean up and get to the main event. Alright, so now we're here back in the box, and the first thing we pull out is a piece of foam. And then we've got the NHD15 wrapped in foam so it cannot get damaged, which is really, really nice. And let's see if we can pull this out. This is the second NH, NFA15 PWM fan. So just another one of these, basically. Just different packaging looks like. Probably because all the cables for it are already attached on the heatsink itself. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out how to slide this out. I guess you actually have to, yeah, you can't just slide it out. You actually have to undo the latches on the sides. It's 
pulls up. Okay. Now I look like an idiot. That's fine. So, oh, okay. So it's not actually one of these. It's a circle, your circular one. So there's the differences between that. This is the one that goes on the heat sink because it's more of a square. These are awesome. These, from what I read, are 120, 120 millimeter mounts, but it's got a 140 fan because it's actually done in a circle, but the mounts are done in the square. So in theory, any 120 millimeter, so 120 millimeter socket that you would try to put this in, if it's got enough clearance around it, you can put this fan in it. And that is awesome. These are NFA-15s. Oh, NFA-15s, and these are NFA-14s. That's the difference. So if you're looking for the circular one, for that fits 120, but is a 140, you want the NFA-15. This is actually going on the NHD-15. Wow, Noctua's naming system is kind of weird. I guess it makes sense if you really think about it. So I'm going to go ahead and slide the NHD-15 out. And then it's just got regular white foam around the inside, so protected it nice. I mean, the box has no damage at all. There's a cutout on the bottom already, so you can actually see the nickel plate that they have. And in theory, this should just pick up. And it does. Oh, does it again. Third time? Nope. There's the NHD 15, at least one side of it. Unfold. Unfold. Wow, it's like a maze. I feel like I'm putting together Google Glass. So cardboard inlay, so the fan already attached doesn't bounce around. And good, there's plastic on the bottom, so I don't have to worry about it. And that's just one gigantic piece of cardboard. So here is the main attraction, the NHD-15. And it definitely is massive. I mean, it is... I think they said it weighs two pounds. I can look through it, though. So, I mean, it's not... The uh, insides of it aren't filled to the brim. And the fan does reach down the bottom under it. I'll try to get some B-roll of this, hopefully. And it's really freaking nice. I mean, it is a huge heat sink. I mean, it is massive. Uh, the only issue I think I'm going to have with this thing is the RAM. But I think I'm going to end up just switching the way the fans are mounted. So I won't have that issue. Because I'm on an AMD platform and I have G-Skill, like, Rip Jaws X or something RAM. So it's got the taller heat, uh, heat spreaders. So, yeah. Um, go ahead and mount the fan while I'm sitting here. At least for now until I decide to switch it around. Because when I switch it around, it'll probably work better and right. So, if I can quit dropping the clips. I've never done this before, and I'm hoping I'm going to do it right. So, I'm going to direct it the same way this one's going. Like this. And then, in theory, you just take the clips into the hole on each side, top and bottom. Well, I thought... Here, maybe I'm going to do the clip first. So if I put the clip through, come down to the bottom, and put the clip through, it makes a solid clip. Go ahead and do the other side while I'm at it, so I don't have to fight with this one too. Uh, wonder if you're supposed to put it on the bottom mount. No, because it would touch the inside and you don't want that. And yep, and that goes in, and that goes in, and essentially my fan is mounted. Uh, they say if you want to move it up and down, you can. I think I actually put it a little couple fins too high. If you're gonna get it like perfectly level, um, yeah, th these these clips are like a joke. I mean, I, not saying nachos are a joke. I mean, it's a joke to put on. Don't be daunted because there are clips on these. I mean, it, I just figured it out, and you just watched me. <laughs> the way you level it is it actually fits in between the, the fan slots. So you just literally just pop it off and move it wherever the heck you want it, which is pretty freaking awesome. Actually? No? I don't know. These The fins that they just came with, the mounting clips are a little different than the one already on it. That's a little odd. Did I do it wrong? <laughs> no? I mean, it's, it's about the same as the 
I think they're just different clips. I think that's what it could be. Different clips. Or did I do it wrong? Looks like I might have done it wrong. Anyway, I'll figure this out. And I'll show it when it's mounting how to do it actually right away after I figure it out. But that is the unboxing and the overview of the NHD 15. This thing is massive. It is the king of air coolers, as everybody's benchmarks has stated in the past. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I did this wrong. Anyway, or there's on the wrong side. And it pops off easy enough. I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll research it and find out. So thanks for checking out this video, guys. And stay tuned for the mounting and upgrade of my machine. As I said, I'm going to take the two... NFS-12As as exhaust fans. I plugged those up and they're silent. You cannot hear a thing. The, these, the NF, uh, the 120 mils, the NF-A14s. These actually make a lot of noise at their standard RPMs. If you're gonna use these, I would probably put the low noise adapter on them. I haven't decided yet because I haven't mounted them in the case, but when I just tested it out here holding it, it was really, really loud. I mean, noticeably loud. And Noctua is known for being quiet, so I mean, it could be, you know, because it's not mounted in the case, but we'll, we'll find out. So stay tuned for that, guys, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video of the NHD 15. God, this thing looks amazing. I really, really hope it's going to fit in this thing. It's going to be awesome. So thanks for checking out this, guys. Checking this out, guys. Oh, one thing I should mention before I leave, um, you can run this in single fan mode if you're worried about it. Um, you just don't attach the other fan. Just don't even worry about it. They say it's, it's going to, of course, have reduced performance, but you don't have to mount the other one. That's what I, one thing I really, really liked about this, too. Um, the other thing you can do is if you have a couple more of these clips, you could put a third one on. But I've heard from Noctua, they said don't even do it. Like, they won't even give you the clips because it doesn't increase performance enough. So, thanks for checking this out, guys, and uh, stay tuned. Peace.